everybody. Welcome to FabFit Friday. Um, I'm kind of silly talking about a short sew along when I woke up to snow and you can't really see from my window and actually most of it has already um, melted but when I woke up it was snowing quite exuberantly so I thought oh fabulous. All right April in Connecticut. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to announce the schedule for the short sew along and um, it's going to start next week. Oh, hi Diane. It snowed there yesterday. Yeah, this is crazy. It's been 70, 75 craziness. Um, and now it's snowy. Hi Jerry. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hope you're feeling better. I hope your arm is better. Hi, Francine. Hi, Mary. You had snow flurries the other night. Nothing stayed. Yeah, it's it's almost melting. Like, some of the grass is already melted. But when I got up this morning, I was like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe the snow. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Of course, I thought I could get everything completely finished to start today. And... The instructions are written, but I didn't proofread them yet, so I want to do a proofing. Um, and then I also want to make a pair for my daughter. Okay, and she's going to be a completely different size than me, so it's going to give me a chance to work with um, a shape that's not my shape. So I'm going to do those two things before next Friday, and I'm going to launch the pattern... Um, probably on Sunday I will send out an email and I'll post it on the community page and on my Instagram when it's available but what I decided I want to do is fitting shorts is going to be much easier than fitting pants because sometimes people get stuck fitting when they extend the fabric past their knee and then the shape and the angle of their leg can cause other problems. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just outline how the sew along is going to work. I'm going to show you the pattern. I have it here to show you. I'm going to show you my vintage Japanese um, cotton pull-on version shorts I've already made and, made and worn and I love them. Um, and then I'm going to talk about fitting a leg that is not straight because that's part of the inspiration for my short sew along. I'm working with someone who um, has a, a knee that bends forward. Okay, so from the hip to the knee, it's coming forward, and then it goes back a little bit towards her foot. And I think that that's causing us some fitting agita, so I want to show you what I'm going to try next for that um, because I want to get that finished as well. So let me just say hello here to PG. Hi, PG. Hi, Kim. Thank you for joining me. Um, all right, so, oh, and the other thing is, I really want to do, if you guys sign up, okay, so the way you would officially sign up for the short sew along is to purchase the pattern. So if you purchase the pattern, I'm going to um, include a Zoom fitting for people who purchase the pattern. Because remember, I said the pattern's going to have two different versions. There's going to be an average and a low hip version. So if anybody wants to make a shorts muslin and join me for a Zoom fitting, we are going to be doing that. Um, you know, and I want to do it on a weekend so people can come if they're watching this. So if you're just tuning in and you want to join me for the short sew along, I want to include a Zoom fitting because it's hard during a live stream on YouTube to help you fit because I can't, there's no way to post pictures or interact with you where I can see what you're doing. So I'm going to include a, a Zoom fitting, but the problem is I am teaching for the next two weekends in a row. I'm teaching stretch jeans fitting for Fabric Mart Fabric. That is starting tomorrow. Then I'll be doing student fittings during the week, and then I finish that next Saturday. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make... Um, I'm going to make 
our Zoom fitting next Saturday, um, and I think it's going to be later in the afternoon, like, um, I'm teaching, well, actually, no, I can't even do that. I want to squeeze, I, uh, maybe Sunday. Um, how about, all right, so Sunday the 25th, okay, so that's a week from this Sunday, I'm going to schedule a Zoom fitting for the short sew along. Um, let's say 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that would be 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, so if you purchase the shorts pattern, there'll be a Zoom invite included with the pattern. And you can join me for, the, for that Zoom fitting. Now if you can't make the Zoom fitting on Sunday the 25th at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I will put, once I do the fitting, um, I will put a link to it. Um, I'll, I'll put it on my YouTube unlisted and there'll be a link to it um, showing so people can see it if they can't see it in person. And then if you need to um, email me with pictures and fitting questions, you can do that. So PG's asking, will we have the pattern by then? Yes, because I am going to launch the pattern this Sunday. I just want to spend a little more time with it, and I want to um, proofread it. I want my daughter to proofread the instructions, and I just want to finish it up. So by Sunday, I will ship on Monday. So what I'll do is I will email everybody that the short saw long is starting, and I'll have a link to the pattern, um, and there'll be a PDF downloadable version and a print version. But if you order it on Sunday, I will ship on Monday. So you should have it before that next Sunday. Because I think um, the mail is getting a little bit better now. Um, and maybe what I'll do is I'll just put the... If you order the print version, I will just include the PDF version with it. So you don't have to choose, maybe. That's what I'll do. I'm going to make the PDF part of the print. And then if you just want PDF, you can do that too. Um, so basically that's how I'm going to start this. So next Friday on the 16th, I will show you how I completely fitted my shorts. Okay, and by then you should either have your pattern or almost have your pattern. So if you have questions on next Friday at 1 o'clock, you can ask them. And then on Sunday the 25th, I'll have that Zoom fitting session. Now, if it works out that we need a second one, I'm very happy to schedule a second one, maybe for the next weekend. But I really anticipate having a much easier time fitting the pant, fitting the shorts versus pants, first of all, because of the length, and also because there is a average and low full hip version. Oh, today's the 16th. Okay, I'm sorry, I mean, when I'm here on the, the 23rd, I'm sorry, the 23rd, um, I'll show you my fitting during FabFit Friday, and I'll show you some basic adjustments you may need to make on your pattern. So you'll have that information ready for Sunday the 25th. So the 23rd, I'm sorry, the 23rd, next Friday's FabFit Friday is when we'll be talking about fitting. I'll show you a variety of fitting adjustments you may need, and then on the 25th, we'll have a Zoom um, shorts fitting class. And I can only, I mean, I have the pro plan, so I don't think 100 people are going to want to sew shorts with me. But the bottom line is, if we need to have a second um, Zoom fitting, we'll, we'll talk about it then. But I think that that will work out well. And then on the 30th, we will be cut out and ready to sew. Okay, so that's the, in, from the 23rd to the 30th, that's when we'll start sewing. Okay, so let me just see here. Francine says, I was planning to do convertible pants in ripstop nylon with less than 5%. Could I start by doing the short sew along? Um, you, well, you probably can. I mean, or Francine, you could work with your pants pattern you have if you want to, because I know you have a pants pattern started as well. So whichever you think, um, if you're going to put a seam at the knee, um, that's going to be something, I'm actually going to be showing you some things um, today that involve a dart on the back leg 
to create a shaped, seam, a shaped side seam for a forward bending knee, but you could also use that seam to add a, you know, like a, um, a convertible shorts into pants as well. Um, all right, so that's going to be our preliminary schedule on the 23rd, next FabFit Friday, I'm going to show you fitting adjustments. And I'm going to show you how I fitted mine. And then on the 25th at um, 11 o'clock Eastern Daylight Savings Time, there's going to be a Zoom fitting for anyone who wants to do or needs help fitting their shorts pattern. And that'll be included with the price of buying the pattern. And then on the 30th, um, we'll have our pieces ready to cut out and start sewing. All right, so we'll do cut out and prep and we'll cut out, prep, and start sewing on the 30th. So that's going to be our schedule for the sew along. And then I'll see what the pace is and I'll finish the construction steps. Um, I'll give you the rest of the schedule on the 30th. All right, let me switch over to here now. Okay, so I just want to show you these are my. Um, shorts I made and what I wanted to do is create a very easy pull-on pair of shorts. Um, I can get away with that because my I can get away with that because my hip and my waist measurement are very similar. Um, so if you have a sort of similar shape to mine you can make pull-on as long as you can pull them over your hips and then add elastic. All right so that's what I created and I basically created these just so I could test my fitting because when I design a pattern I don't make it to fit me perfectly and then grade it I make it a general shape that I think is going to work for a variety of shapes and then I have to fit it onto myself so this is what mine looks like and the pockets on the back are going to be a little bit different they're almost shaped like a cargo pocket so they have a little angle here and there's also a flap. I did not put the flap on these because, again, I just wanted to get them fitted and make sure I liked the way they were fitting. I'm going to have a full-blown um, constructed pair with a front fly zipper and the flaps and everything for next Friday as well to show you. But anyway, so those are my shorts. And I just want to show you how the pattern came out. I'm kind of excited about the pattern because I graded it a little bit different than previous times or previous patterns. What I did was, okay, you can see here, I graded it so I could really control the shape uh, and length change in the crotch. So basically, this is for the average full hip. So there's um, sizes 2 to 24, and in the back, same thing, sizes 2 to 24. There's front fly pieces, and then I also have the low full hip. Okay, it's all going to come in one pattern, so you don't have to um, guess which one you need um, before you get the pattern. So this is the low full hip. The back of the crotch curve actually dips lower than the crotch point. And I have the back pocket, I have the button vent for the, the button detail at the hem, and I have the flap. Now, we are going to create custom waistbands after we, um, the process of sewing these are going to be, if you want to have a front fly, we're going to do that. Um, and also, I didn't put a front pocket on here, but I will show you how to design a front pocket if you want to do that. So. Actually, we'll be starting with front pockets because that's the first thing you sew when you make a pair of pants that have a front fly zipper. So it'll be front pockets, it'll be front fly zipper, um, and then we'll construct the back. And then after the back is finished and the front is all sewn together, we're going to just sew them together to make sure they fit. And that's when we'll pin out what we need to pin out for darts in the back. Um, and of course, if you're going to make a muslin, you'll have your darts ready to go. Um, but once our um, shorts are sewn together, we're going to 
baste a two and a half inch strip of fabric around the top and we're going to create a custom waistband. Now some of this might get to be finished during our zoom fitting depending on how it goes but if it doesn't and we just fit the legs it's very easy to fit the waistband and depending on your shape you may be able to get away with a straight waistband like I did or if you need a contoured waistband I'm going to show you how to pin that and adjust that okay and the instructions also have all of these details in the instructions I show how to create a custom waistband in the instructions I show how to do all of these things I'm telling you so if you miss or can't come to one of the Fab Fit Fridays where we're doing the sew along you do have the written instructions with the pattern but anyway so that's um, what the pattern looks like and like I said, I just want to make sure it's perfect before I send it out. So I will launch that on Saturday. Um, and what I want to do now is I want to just, I didn't um, print any legs. So I'm just going to quickly draw a leg here. Okay, so let's do um, a back leg. I just want to show you something that I've been thinking about and working on and this is for someone this is for a shape that has a forward bending knee um, and I want to show you what the problem is um, so if here's my little guy okay so let me make him a little bit make it a little bit bigger so you can see this. So I've been playing with my little wooden man here, or woman, whatever, and basically this is normally, or not normally, but if you have legs that are basically straight like this, once you fit your crotch and your hip and the back has the right vertical length and the front has the right vertical length, the fabric is going to hang from your full hip down and you're going to get a nice, you know, a nice looking pair of pants. Let me just stop here and see if there's questions. Um, Patricia, how does one get her patterns? She's American sounding. Um, hi, Patricia. Yes, I am American. Um, I will have a PDF version so you can download it so you don't have to wait for the mail. And if you go to jsterndesigns.com and sign up for my newsletter, um, I will be sending out a newsletter via email um, on Sunday with links to the PDF version, which you can download, and also the printed version if you want to get that in the mail. Um, I do have a lot of students now who live outside the United States. That's very exciting. Um, so I want to make it accessible to everybody. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, so um, getting back to my little guy here. Okay, so this is the this is the fitting that I'm working on now. I believe with my student, we have fit from the waist to the knee fits really well. We can get almost a perfect shape there. Um, but what's happening is this particular student's knees do this. So if her feet are flat, her knees do this. Okay, so you can see see that silhouette and how the knees are bent forward. Um, that's what I want to show you. Something I'm going to try, and right now on this little leg I'm, I I drew. Um, okay, Patricia says awesome. Thank you. We're in U.S. I'm in Connecticut on the East Coast. Um, that's why <laughs> I was surprised when I woke up to snow this morning. Uh, it was snowing outside my window, um, but it's almost gone already. Yeah, it's almost gone. Okay, so let me show you this here. Um, okay, so normally when you're working on pants, you're trying to make your side seam hang straight, and it's becoming my opinion that if your knees bend forward like this, I'll keep him right here so you can see, um, I'm wondering that maybe the side seam should be centered on the leg 
not going straight. So what I'm going to do here is on the back leg where the knee is, let me just draw a knee line here. Okay, and also I'm going to draw a green line so we have that for a reference. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, looking at my leg here and looking at my pattern piece, where this back of the knee is, I think there needs to be a dart there. So it will then create the shape of the leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my leg off like this and I'm going to create a dart and let me just draw the dart okay not a lot but maybe an inch on a real size pattern okay so like if I then match the bottom of the leg up like this What's going to happen now is, you can see the green line is slightly, the green line is slightly pushing to the back now. Okay, so see, it's ever so slightly, and I'll just draw this little dash line so you can see here now. So, um, it's going to make the green line do this, and then I'm almost wondering if up at the crotch, Let me just see something. I just want to see if I cut this here and I, it's almost like I would need to lengthen, I might, you might have to lengthen the side seam a little bit like this to get it to go. Let me just really exaggerate it. You know, because this is a little piece here, but let's say I, at the crotch level, let me just tape this here like this so you can see. Okay, so at crotch level, if I extended the, um, or lengthened the side seam, okay, so now you can see what that's doing from here is straight, right? So you can see that the angle is now angling towards the front slightly. And then I want to push this back a little bit more. I mean, I almost it's almost like I want it to do this. And I know this looks crazy, but you can see that the grain line is going this way and then it's slightly going back that way. And I think that might give the shape that I need to fit the pants for a knee that's doing this. Okay. Now the other option is if you wanted, if you didn't mind having a, um, a dart sewn into the back of your fabric of your pants, you know, maybe we could just sew a dart on the back leg. Um, and get that to work. But that's what I've been playing with and thinking about because I have this one student that I really want to I really want to smooth out what's going on. So I'm contemplating making it do this and then making it do that a little bit. So that's what I'm working on. I know this looks crazy because it's not proportionate and it's not um, to scale at all. Um, but I'm going to be working with a full-size pattern piece to create a shaped leg. And it may work out that I have to do it to the front as well so that the shape of the side seam matches. So when I sew it together, instead of the side seam being, let me just draw like a body here. All right, so here's a waist. Here is a butt, a leg. Okay, but the leg is doing this and the leg is doing that. Okay, here's the front. Oops. Okay, so the leg is doing this and then the leg is doing this a little bit. Okay, so this is this is basically the silhouette of the shape. So from the waist through the full hip, it will be straight. 
but then I think the side seam needs to do something like this and like this. Okay, so that's what I'm working on. Um, oh, hi Kay. <laughs> um, Kay says to reverse the shape. Um, all right, so this is what I'm gonna be trying to create. Um, and I really feel like it needs to be some version of this. But again, I'm going to play with it in a live, um, a full size pattern um, and test it. But I really feel like the top of the leg needs to be angled forward and the bottom from the knee down needs to be angled slightly to the back. And the way I think we can get that is by taking out fabric here. So we'd be taking it out, you know, some here we have to get rid of some of the length and I may need to lengthen it here. So it may be like this here, open, and then a dart down here, so to close it. So this would be a dart that I would close, and this would be a slash that I would open. So actually it may work out that these two things cancel themselves out in terms of the actual length of the, of the seam but that's what I that's what I'm playing with. Oh, Kay says I'm doing a reverse S. Yeah. I mean, I just and actually I'm drawing this the right way, wrong way. I think this needs to be opened this way and this needs to be closed this way. So, this dart will get closed, this will be spread open. But you can see if I do that in equal amounts, then the total length of the side seam will stay the same. And I may not need to do that to the front. I have to test it. But anyway, so that's what I'm, I'm thinking about for this shape leg. So that's what I'm thinking about for that. And it's sort of all been rolled together with this short sew along because I've been spending so much time fitting the top portion of the pattern and getting great results and then when we lengthen the leg for this particular student it, it all goes out the window so I was thinking wow we should just make shorts and that's how I resurrected my shorts pattern um, but in any case I know this is a little bit of a variety of topics today but um, I want to finish up with this pattern I just showed you I want to proof my shorts and then I will get those out on Sunday. So um, please let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can post them below. Um, also, in the community tab, I'm going to start using that more and more. So if you don't know how to find that, um, you can find the community tab. It's in the main menu right above the videos on my home page of my YouTube channel. And if you click the community tab, you can check there for updates. And actually, one of my students in my yoga pants class last weekend made a very cool pair of sparkly yoga pants. So I put a picture of those um, in the um, community tab for you to see. Um, all right, Kim is asking, what is the best fabric for this project? Um, this project is going to, th this pattern is going to be a non-stretch um, pattern. So you can use... Um, if you for the summer if you want to make like cool and comfortable linen shorts or lightweight khaki fabric or you know woven cotton anything that's you know a summer weight if it has a titch or a teeny bit of stretch to it I'm sure that would be fine too but I'm working with non-stretch fabric for the samples I've been working on and for um, you know for the pattern in general. If you want to make the pull-on pair, I highly recommend getting some linen or woven cotton or something lightweight so when you gather it, it's not bulky at the waist. Um, if you want to do the front fly version, then maybe the lightweight khaki fabric, lightweight denim, chambray, any of that kind of stuff. Um, fabric suggestions will be included. The pattern will come with all of the information um, you know, that you need to sew them. 
All right, so I think that's all I have for today. Um, I will tell you when I'm, like I was really out of commission for two full days after I got my COVID vaccine last week. And it really, being down two days really pushed everything back because I also spent two days at my parents helping with my mom and you know visiting and such. So um, that's part of the reason why I'm not 100% ready to start today. So I apologize, but um, I think it'll be fine to start next Friday with a Zoom fitting on Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you guys join me and I'll put a link to my website so if anybody wants to sign up for my newsletter you can do that because that's where I'll put the link to the patterns as soon as they're up on Sunday. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or comments please post them below and I will help you and I look forward to starting the short sew along next Friday. It's going to be really fun. I'm super excited. Um, and by then, I'll have two pairs of shorts because I've already cut out my khaki version or my non-stretch, you know, khaki fabric version that I'm going to do a, a front fly zipper and everything. So um, I love it when I get to work on a project and then I get to sew for myself too. So that actually works out really well. But anyway, all right, you guys, I will see you next week. I'm sorry this is a little bit short, but... Um, I'm going to finish everything up and get it to you, and I will see you um, next week. And for Fit Tip Tuesday, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, so that will be a surprise, but I'll definitely see you, um, you know, next Friday. Oh, Mary's asking how my mom is doing. Um, my mom has Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and, I mean, she got double whacked, you know, like, and she's not, it's not, you know, it's obviously not going well because it's the kind of thing where it just keeps getting worse, but um, it's, um, you know, it's hard. But I do go every Sun, uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, I go down to my mom and dad's and I give my dad a break and I visit and I love spending that time. And to be honest with you, they both have such amazing attitudes about it. And like my dad is my hero. Like he's just amazing the, what good care he takes of my mom and of course I have a brother and sister who are really helpful as well so it's not I don't feel like it's like my just my job to help but um, we have a very close family so you know it's good it's just it's hard you know it's hard because because it's hard but I mean she's she's okay for now you know I just want to keep her at home as long as possible so that's what's always on my mind but and actually yesterday it was her birthday and it was also my older daughter's birthday, Anna, so we had a lady lunch. So I got her all ready and we, we went to lunch at this little place with all our masks on and it was actually nice for her to see some of her friends. Um, but anyway, so she's, she's all right, she's good. Um, Francine says, I can't do next Friday. Well, Francine, don't worry because you can watch the replay. So if you can't make it during a FabFit Friday, know they're always posted to watch after the fact as well. And as a matter of fact, when I look at my numbers, um, very few people actually watch them um, live compared to the number of people who watch it after the fact. So if you're watching this after the fact, I love you and I understand that people can't watch when I'm live at one o'clock on Friday sometimes. So um, yes, so that's my whole report. So. Um, Oh, Jerry says, happy birthday to my mommy. Yes, 78. She's very exciting. Yeah, she enjoyed it. So anyway, thank you, Kay, for the hugs. All right, so I will see you guys for Fit Tip Tuesday with some fun topic, and then I will see you Friday for um, some fitting tips for the shorts, and by then you guys should have your shorts. All right, so have a lovely weekend, and I will see you again very very soon